freaking pouring down rain and we got bulls bugling. Last day, we have had one heck of a week. All right, y'all don't judge my golf swing. We're here to elk hunt. I don't know where it went. Oh, I see it way over there. We sliced it, and that's why we wanted to slice it, because we're hoping to slice and dice some big Wapiti this week at R&K Hunting Company. Rand K, some of y'all know it by. This is where I do my perfect angler fishing show, and every year we come out here for vacation with the boys, and we're doing it again. <laughs> How about hit Daniel, didn't I? Hey, Daniel! What's up? I realize I hope I'm better at elk hunting. Eric. Nice to meet you, Daniel. I really hope I'm better at elk hunting than golfing. golf balls. Yeah. I just saw you skipping off the water. Yeah, I almost hit you coming in. That's I saw you nice. come to a complete stop. Don't be putting a dent in a little white. I know yeah. it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's going to be a good week. Dude, good. I'm so pumped. Oh, good to see going? you back, man. <laughs> good to gotta see get, you, Got to get some vindication this oh, year. Oh, redemption time. You man. ain't lying, dude. Oh, that's it right there. That sounds good. <laughs> My goodness. I'm going to retire there, boys. We're gonna call that my birdie. <laughs> the, the, hey, it's always smart to get to camp first. Like yeah. I say, that's usually Mick Munt's job. He'll be there two or three days, and he's already killed a management animal and a trophy by the time I usually get in. So. Christmas time. What little single tear? I know. I hey, I don't duck hunt, but I need some good duck hunting clothes. Hey, I don't duck hunt, you know, but uh. <laughs> Man, I, I look good in these, though, man. That's awesome. I like, I like that. I feel like I'm in my element around here. Hey, you are. You are. Dave, I get, we, me and Rhett went to Alaska in 2002 or three. I don't remember, three or four, I forget what it was. Rhett went and got some long underwear. That's the ones this way. She still got them. The whole butt's gone out of them. He's still wearing these. He showed me that last night. He said it might be a little cold. He goes, will these work? <laughs> Your legs will be warm. <laughs> It'll be a little drowsy. <laughs> hey, they're kind of ready if you have to, if just mercy like if you need to get a, If you need just a little vent, <laughs> you get a little hot. Exactly. Just do that real quick. If you're going down the mountain, yeah. you can kind of slow down. That last thing's long, it's 18 like years, all the Well, my wife has built that. Because we went in 04, right? That's, that's exactly 04 right. 04 to 14. That's crazy that's been 18 years ago. Yeah. We rode horses, honestly, Lonesome Dove. And I feel like Yellowstone ain't rode as much horses as we did that week. We never, we went from never riding a horse to the first, the first five minutes. It was we like, I mean, it was, it was, we, it was, it was the closest that we've ever had to this moment. Me and me and Rip was looking at each other in the mountains. And we're like, man, this is amazing. And, and I mean, it was like 24 hours later, we're still on the horse. Like, man, what the? Red, Red is riding the side sound like one of them European girls. It, it's like he said, man, I can't, my, I'm raw. I mean, he, we're, remember you a side saddle? Yeah, we didn't hunt for two days after that. No. Then we had to get up there. to a guitar yeah. shop. And that, it, in the shop, that was the most expensive guitar in there. And he bought it. And um, so he went to leave and he didn't even have a case. He didn't even have a case. Yeah. And, um, and he said, man, what you give me for this guitar? And I wasn't making no money at the time. Real special. Man, I ain't got no money. And um, he kept eyeballing this, like, mountain bike I had bought, like, two years ago. I said, I'll trade you that bike right there for it. Just kind of as a joke. And, and I was about to laugh. And he said, all right. There's your trade. Man, I, was put, I had me a socket set out, taking that bike, putting it in his truck before I could even. Did it come with the Ted Nugent guess? No, it didn't come with the Ted. Yeah, no, it didn't come with that one. Craig Morgan and Ted Nugent Craig, be out Craig, How about that? That's just like that's like a wide spectrum, right? I love it. Mr. Bauer, if I leave my bow right here in the seat. JJ, have you got us some uh, Starlink satellite? Rerouted the absolute GPS system. Yep. Here are 12 different bolts. Where are you at today? 10 or 12, probably. Why don't you gar hold us? You hate, why do you hate me, hey. Uncle Mike? Why do you hate Uncle Michael and Daddy so much? <laughs> yeah. Why do you hate us? 
I've raised you for eight, 19 years. We went tubing. Put me in the we crappiest went spot. I went tubing with this guy. It, like, I mean, not in hunt season, just a Christmas vacation. Went tubing with him. And then I thought they had a good relationship. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we heard 12. <laughs> you think you know somebody, lived with him for 19 what years. What did Uncle Michael do to you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, congratulations. Glad y'all had a good morning. <laughs> We did, we did have some good fun storytelling, but I uh, just want to congratulate everybody on a good hunt besides me and Daniel. So <laughs> I'm happy for all the guests and all you guides. Congratulations. Anyway, so yeah. good job. I'm real happy for y'all. We would have gone on some <laughs> if you could have stopped talking. I know it. I was telling up. stories. <laughs> I was trying to get my stories out of the way. So in case we hear a bugle, I wouldn't have to stop. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Left my rabbit foot in the room. <laughs> I had a buckeye that I lost in Oregon. I went to Kid Rock's bar, stayed at four o'clock in the morning. I think it's just, I gotta get past this pump. <laughs> Where'd y'all y- y- go? We were down in the bottom where those uh, water holes are. And we were on them. I had a one at full draw at 50 yards. He was right quartered on. to me. Right oh. And then he winded me and he was gone. And then we had another one, smaller one at 20 yeah. yards. Hey, that's that cut. Congratulations, I mean, it was unbelievable. Is that awesome? It was great. Was that fun? Oh my gosh. I forgot, I was, was going to say, we got a text that you pop one. Yeah, I mean, Heck it's crazy. Yeah. Is that him? Man, he's a yeah. nice bull. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, I'm tickled to death. Heck yeah. I just kept shooting bull in there. So, I, that, that's what yeah, I'm that's talking about. Them yeah. bullets are cheap, especially when you're on a gun store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a big difference. But I was tickled to death. 700 pound turkey. Yeah. Congratulations. First one, First one too, man. So it's September, and the best news that I could share, not just about my adventures, but for you guys, is hunting season is here in a lot of places. Not everywhere, but it's either in or it's coming fast. And I'm in one of my favorite places of all time, Utah. Up here, my buddies at uh, R and K, and I got some of my best friends in the world and some some partners up here, and we're we're literally chasing elk, and we got a few down this morning and a couple close calls, so. In the mountains, man. Good food, good times, a lot of camaraderie, a lot of stories, and some of them will be true. And some of them we'll catch on video and we'll share with you. Just wanted to get to let you know what's up. Now what you gonna do? The blues! Oh dude, Robert Johnson. Oh yeah, uh, Mr. Brownstone. I got that one lick. I got a bed around nine. I don't worry about nothing. Words are waste of my time. <laughs> That sucker right there is motocross. Mike. Just getting started. First afternoon. And I only hunt with cherry chapter dude. They gonna smell you, they gonna smell something sweet. Just got a gobble. First gobble of the trip. Yes. He ain't gonna be very far away. We got a good wind right here. Yeah, let me just keep some moving all over on us. Maybe a hundred if we feel like we can. 
Daniel's gonna start calling. We're just gonna ease up. I don't know if he got up in these down the ridge. But it could be a different bull. Slip in here about 400 yards. There's a water at my spring and a wall. Right there? Yeah. I think that's where he, he was right. That's where I heard him. He, last I heard him right in there. Just and I figured around three, 400 yards away. Okay. I didn't hear him from back there, but let's just go another couple hundred yards and Heck yeah. hopefully he'll give himself up again. Cows 
Let's see what this one is. Yeah. I mean, he's hitting it pretty good. Yeah. There's a bull that's a herd bull with some cows dropping down off this hill, going down to water instead of us just continually chasing them. We have another one to the west of us that we're going to jump up on here and see if we can see what he is. And I do believe that sucker has been to you, though. The wind was perfect. He was going to walk in our lap if he came. It's a great place for him to come in the morning. We can ambush the crap out of him. I like it. It's beautiful, too. We could go up. We want to go over that ridge so we're not just following these down. Yeah, I would rather see, that. see what that is. Yeah, I think that way Because that should be coming. It's off getting a good on. I can still get it. He's right there. Yeah, I know. I see him. Looking back.
sucker come too fast. He, we were just about set up first cow, you know, Cole was sitting in his tripod and just run in. I could have shot him. Yeah. He was a, probably a five by six, I think it was. Yeah, I could see his six side pretty good, but how many cows did he have with him? Just a pile, they was some below. Mm -hmm. I could hear some up here and we could hear him walking. And he was kind of coming back. And I think I bumped a few of the cows, but he was just, he sat there at 40 yards from me. And we, I just, he come running over the hill and then he walked towards you. He, he come running right there. I don't know if you could see him or not. I couldn't see him. How we were by that tree, 38 yards. Just come freaking running right on top of us. But Co I, when you called, Cohen was just sitting trap by and I said, Cohen, boom, 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 Cohen. I looked down, Cohen was getting his camera and I said, right there, and he's like, oh shit, and he banned up. And he got him, but it was, it was just been a bull standing there and he had pegged us, but you kept calling and he, he kind of eased on and then I cow called just to kind of maybe thought I was cow. And I think he did settle in that probably this is just some more of his cows because he had cows down here too. That whole thing is right there in those trees. I got him on my phone, just skyline looking around, walking. And he wasn't spooked at all. He definitely was, was the bird bull. He had a pile of cows with him. But that was all awesome. fun. That was worth walking up there. I know I'm sweating. I think he, he come running because he thought his cows had went over his hill. And when he, he just freaked out. <laughs> I slept in here. That's a good setup though. That worked out perfect. Makes it easier, especially for me. I got everything marked where we parked this morning and last night. I got it tracking where we go. It'll tell you how far you've been. it also give you how you walk. A lot of times it's really useful when you have opportunity to get on bulls at the same time. You know, multiple opportunities. service here but I also got this map downloaded so I can use it offline but got all the water and stuff marked. It's hard not to hunt anymore without without having your map man. You can know everything about where you go and how you go and in, in this really big country you won't get lost as last year's Easter egg, which is nice. Thank you, man. Thanks nice work. Yeah, thank you. Awesome bull. Congratulations, Eric. Thanks, man. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> well, done, done, done. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Dude, you're welcome. Look at that. I'd like to help you with your Hornet Day sponsorship. Other than that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we do it. We do it. No, I got a few more in here, baby. Here we Look go. Here, baby. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I ain't afraid. <laughs> I like to spot. I like to see that. Hey, Rick, I'd like, like to, to see something that does. Go to the cycle bin. Take it home. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we do it. 
Day three. We ain't been in the middle of a bunch of them, but we've been on some. The rain's coming in today, and I would just as soon go ahead and get her done. But if it don't, that rain ought to set them off. Honestly, it cools down a little bit. Kind of gets a little moisture in the ground, knocks the dust off things, and it make us feel better. And I'm sure these help. But still got many people with tags. We just need some opportunity, and we're grinding for it, baby. We're going. Good times. We were just talking about what dumbasses we are that we always have about a thousand dollars worth of light make packable <clears throat> rain gear. I have Most it all time. sitting back at the lodge. Me too. Me too. And there's the rain. <laughs> me too. Me too. And I was like. Man, I'm gonna find me a good tree. And I think about it. I think okay, about it. Yeah. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> God, look at that sunrise. No, it's ridiculous. We're blessed, Jimmer. Yeah. Let's go kill some milk. Let's get on. Get good on. Luck. Good luck. Come on, boys. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Let's go. Tomato soup and grilled cheese. I'm like, oh, yeah. And his, his I remember grilled cheese. That. Yeah. Look at that. Dude, he's draw, beautiful. draw. Don't be giving Jay a chance right here. Oh, God. Yeah. I missed that's the shot. Good. He's right here. Boom! Get off me. <laughs> so that's what it looks like when it happens. That's what it looks like. What it looks like. <laughs> Dang, dude. He'd yeah. just go right over that little ridge and park it. Yeah, he he needed some time. You heard that, I heard that pop though, son. That's a yeah. long pop. Yeah, he pop. So that that was my first six point bull. He's really oh, yeah. he was gorgeous, man. Yeah. He like, was about thirty yards. Uh, I shot him at twenty two yards. Dude, so he just come right on yeah, top of you. He was right. Was your buddy behind you calling too, or so my it? boys, Cody and Conley, right behind me. So you had all me. your boys with you They're too. right there. They yeah, Cody was filming it and. They were just like, That's, that can't get watch no the whole thing go down. So. You can't get no better than that, oh, man. man. Had youngins up there on the hill. Yeah, it was awesome. That's awesome. Freaking pouring down rain. Miserable. And we got bulls bugling. We've been up here freezing and wet. But it just turned on. Weird, dude.
talking about a miserable day. It's pouring down rain, but we got bulls bugling. Sorry, dude. That was. I just zoomed out. We had to have what we had right yeah, there. Yeah, I, I just zoomed out and hope that you can maybe see it. I could barely see him when I squatted down. I seen his yeah, horns. Yeah, I seen him. No way. I seen you shooting. He just went. Boof. We covered miles. We never heard of. Clear from the freaking top. Never heard of peep. That was cool, man. That was good. What was that? Fifty yards? It is wet. We are soaked to the bone. Where's the fish? <laughs> All wrinkled up. <laughs> we covered. I don't know what, four or five miles It's today. a long way, clear from the top long all the way ways. down. Just trying to get a bull to respond. Quiet. Never heard a peep. And uh, we're sneaking through here and all we had was a neck shot, but he never We moved. had to take it, he, he didn't move. Yeah. There he lays. That's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Right, right? <laughs> Make sure you didn't Hell Dude. yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's pretty. Dude, he's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hell yeah, Jeff. Woo! I gotta get over there. That's a good one, man. <laughs> Dude, nice spot. Thanks. Good shot. That's a good bull. Heck yeah. Pretty. Look at his fronts. Look man. at that. Look at that. Look at his freaking fronts. All nice. Got some good length. Good thirds, too. Not bust anywhere. His sixes aren't bad. Well, this is the uh, first time I've hunted with a cameraman. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. I don't think we. I don't think we got the shot on camera, but I think you're going to be excited when we get back to camp. <laughs> this is a sweet bull, man. Thanks for having me out here. Couldn't be more thankful. Thank you. Now, does anybody have service? <laughs> Come on, brother Dale. That's a beautiful bull, Thank man. You, man. Redemption. Congrats, dude. Thank you, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. Like, uh, <laughs> dude, y'all were the perfect that. pair to do that. I don't think nobody else had the patience to do what y'all were doing. Seriously, like still hunting through there. I start pouting, I don't hear no bugle, and then, <laughs> and then Dave walks me about seven miles and we're listed yeah. another spot. <laughs> <laughs> What's your Indian name? Because <laughs> you, he's got some Indian in him. He, he just slip up on him in the bed. Right. Yeah. Just like Pocahontas. We had, we had a lot of practice this week. You, oh, my, we been been you walked a long way too, didn't you? We did. I, I mean, do want to steals. make an announcement. We do have a one-shot Johnson in camp. His name is Mike. <laughs> That's right. Represents love one. one shot. Yeah, one shot, Johnson. Come on, Mr. Mike. It's now official. Though. I do think of this. I'm the only one in camp. I ain't got a shot yet. Have I? There's always tonight. Yeah, it's yeah. always tonight. Yep. That's what I'm talking it's about. It's supposed to be that way, though. It's After supposed to be that, that way. And... If it can work out good. I just spike dough. Cow. <laughs> yeah. Porcupine. Yeah. I, yeah. Porcupine. 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 Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, is it legal to hunt beavers? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Golly. I, I mean, yeah. You could, I like that one. you could take him and his dad and his friends and you could put a, a small chihuahua turd in the sidewalk and say, write me a pretty song about it, and it would just make you cry. I mean, it would be, man, it's small, but it sure does fit on the sidewalk. You, I mean, they could. And you, you'd be like, ah, oh, man, I had a chihuahua. All these people you have over here, nobody ever brings guitar. Even your dad can play. You didn't have guitar or anything. Like, you said, nobody's even ever playing music. All these people are. It's not uncommon for Rhett to bring a guitar to a gig. Believe me, because I hired him for a couple. Hey, man.
Uh, oh, yeah. You got to get to him. Like, no, I don't. I got a bow and arrow and a turkey call. I got, that's what I brought. That's <laughs> yeah. God, that's hilarious. Hey, man. Hey. That sounds good. Be daddy. But ain't nothing wrong with a little tenderness. <laughs> Don't know how far he was. He was coming about about 25, I think he's about. He was a little further than I thought because I held a 35-40. Thought I heard him fall. Did you shoot? Yeah. You did? Yeah. He's dead. Did you hear one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all right. He ain't a real big one. <laughs> hey, hey, last, hey, they, they were coming through here, and I, hey, it, it's a bull, but I feel like I, I feel like I smoked him. You know what? We got Maybe them. I didn't hit one. <laughs> but watching them come down, and then being back there and just giving a little chirp, I'm watching you, and they're running, down, walking down, walking down. Even though they've heard bulls out there, this is the last one. You guys are flying oh, out. Dude, How many this hours? is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. And you know, we've seen we've seen some really good bulls this week. You know, all the guys have seen great bulls. But to fill the tag on on this, in this experience, on this beautiful morning last day, that's just that's so yeah. awesome, buddy. Dude. Hey, that's the first thing. I felt real good with him. Which, which, he was, which one did you shoot? It was they was two, they they wasn't real big. But it was I swear, this is funny. There was one that had more multiple points. 
this one more forked out like a three by three. I don't know. Multiple points. He was more pushing. Droppers. He's, he's like T bone. He's like a T bone boy. That's, we're on T bone's ridge. That's for you, T bone. And me too. But me and T bone, we like we we was up at T bone's shop the other day setting up a bow. Actually, that bow right there. And we was eating some of T bone's summer sausage. Some of his elk. Some of his elk. And so now I. Oh, now you want to bugle? Come on, cross here, right here, Big Daddy. But anyway, we got some more summer sausage, T-bone, jalapeno, cheddar style. Get us a Hoyt, and we'll get to work. Eat some sausage, maybe drink us a adult beverage or sweet tea, Mountain Dew, something. I don't know. Mm, I know one thing. I'm agreeing with Red Akins on one thing. This is Mount Never Rest, because it's straight up. I looked on my base map. It's 1.6 miles to where we went, and we steady climbing. So you know what? Get that, put this on Instagram. Hold on. Oh shit, I got a cramp. <laughs> I'm terrible blood trailer and I can, I can see this pretty good. Good news is he's going down the hill. He was about 43 yards. I shot him. That just shows you how you can get lucky. He squatted. That's an elk cam. Roast, rice, taters, carrots, onions, gravy. <laughs> That's my first thing I've ever got in Utah. That, those, those three bulls were coming right in on us. Yes. Came right down the hill. And then after after we're after you shoot, <laughs> we hear another bugle. Yeah. And then the whole herd comes in. The whole in herd us. comes, a nice six by six. The good news is. Those are old to eat. You don't they, want they, to eat. You don't gnarly, eat. nasty mountain hams. This is more tender. But the good news is I had about a 75, 60 yard shot. I believe I could have. Yes, uh, Daniel said chili whopped him. But the sucker was, wouldn't have been a chip shot. But I might messed up on this one, but let's go look at it. Going down, going down the hill, son. We back in. Man, look at this. Look at this. Oh boy. Elk hunting. Ah. These suckers are mammoth. You talking about groceries out the wazoo? Last day. And I'm telling you right now, man, we have had one heck of a week. Unreal. This is the first day that we really got in them. We, we've been hiking a lot and hearing a lot of bugling. Well, actually not even hearing a lot of bugling. Then we got them yesterday, Dave, and they was across the line. Could really chase it. And so, today. Hey, hey you, got a, you got an extra coming off the back. Hey, oh, yeah, look at this cheetah right there. That's right. I'm going to tell you right now. One thing I'll never do is just shoot a bull to shoot it, you know, just for a show. I, I don't ever get tired of it, and sometimes you can get all hung up on the trophy and not get, and forget the experience. And we, let me tell you something, it ain't nothing to Dave, because he, he's in that wilderness athlete competition, that sucker's my age, but he, but he acts like he's 13 running around here on the middle school track team. But I bet you, just me and you, I've tracked it on the base map. I know we've been putting about two or three miles straight up this, Red Aikens named it. It ain't Mount Everest, it's Mount Neverest. <laughs> Cause it's straight up. But as soon as you get too hung up and just trophy and not the experience, you done lost it. Cause ain't nobody gonna love you anymore cause you killed something big. I just love being able to get out here with friends and enjoy it and have a good experience. Dave had them bulls calling and they were coming in, they were in the front of that herd and they come to investigate. And you know what? They didn't know that that Hoyt and Mega Meat was waiting on them. They didn't know it, Dave. They didn't know it. He knows it now up there on the streets of gold, but it's a way to close off a, a good week of hunting here at R&K. 
Dave Brini, me and him have hiked a many miles together, and that's the first time we've ever been able to put a tag on something. So now we're gonna let Dave get this thing off the mountain. <laughs> why don't you go? Why don't you hey, go back and get some lunch? Give me a hug, Big Daddy. Good job, man. Appreciate you. I'll say it again, man. This is a beautiful bull, and I am very, very proud of him. Matter of fact, a man shouldn't even have to say he's proud of an animal if he's putting a tag on him. If he ain't, then you know what? Shame on him. And so I've been blessed to hunt a lot of elk in a lot of different mountains and terrain. And this one right here means as much to me as anything. If you just knew all the miles, which some of them you've seen, the friendships, the laughter, and to be able to take his home to my family, I don't know, man. It's awesome. And this was the only archery kill this week, so... We couldn't let the Hoyt not go to work. And we couldn't go home without some good sausage and something to put in that gravy that my wife likes to make, so. And you know what? This looks eerily like the one T-Bone got. That's for you, T-Bone. We ain't far from where you shot. We miss you, big boy. It's a T-Bone Turner. This is, this is T-Bone's mountain. Mount never rest. How about that? Finally close the coffin here in Utah, man. We've been seven days grinding pretty good. Started two days in U Oregon, come to Utah. It's been, it's been five days here and the hunt. I had one last morning and last minute, man, I stuck a good one. Solid, solid elk. Not a giant, but man, we put many miles in for him. So, hey, good way to start 2022 off. Broke the brand new RX-7 in and broke off one of these gold tips. So I ain't complaining. Not an ounce. Let's go to Oregon now. <laughs> oh, yes. Pretty good lick. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? Holy you kidding shit. me? That's the first time it's been done. Yeah, right here. Brand new cameraman Scott, he gets his mail in Grand Rapids, Michigan. He has hit the trout pond ten. That's what we do. I'm gonna end it there. I, I will never do that again. That was awesome. Do you play a little bit? I play it twice a year. Dude, uh, dude that was a good <laughs> shot. That was awesome. Did you get that? What is you the chance? That. That's awesome. Did you see that? He hit it. That was luck, pure luck. Yeah. What? And we got it on video to prove it. Damn. Yeah. That's never been done. Yeah. Yeah, that is first. Good work. TR and all them got all around it, but nobody hit it. Well, yeah, we just hit Scott's the flags. The first. I really hope you enjoy watching what we're putting out here on YouTube. It's kind of a little more behind the scenes. I wanted to show y'all. Look at here. We got a nice range. All these Morel bag targets. You can see we usually shoot from way back there. And man, the whole deal is if you hunt these elk, you want to be able to reach out there, use all your pins. And so, at least we got a range out here in the mountains we can shoot and be ready and prepared. But if you like this sort of thing, be sure, man, subscribe. And we'll be coming right at you, man. We're going to keep them coming. Y'all subscribe. We're going to keep you posted on what's happening. Y'all let us know in the comments what y'all jacking up and putting on the ground, too, man.